So at the time of the coronavirus, you know, it, the high Carter B said it, right? Um, they have a thing called the Paycheck Protection Program. Now that was put out by the federal government to try to help small businesses stay afloat. So a Love and Hip Hop Atlanta cast member, at least definitely in 2019, his name is Maurice Fain. He goes by the name Arkansas Mo on the show. Now he was charged and arrested. Okay. And let me tell you why he was charged and arrested for taking money from the paycheck protection program. Now he used the emergency loan from the federal government to lease a Rolls Royce, make child support payments and purchase an $85,000 worth of jewelry. Oh boy. Oh my people, my people. Oh man. Seriously. Seriously, but let's get into this. So he owned an actual business. Okay. He said he was a sole owner of transportation business, flame trucking. Okay. And in April, he applied for a loan that the federal government was offering, you know, paycheck protection program loans. And he stated that his business had 107 employees, but he's the sole owner with an average monthly payroll of $1.4 million. That's what he said in his application, right? So he asked for 3 million, but the federal government gave him $2 million. So he used 1.5 million of the loan to purchase jewelry, including a Rolex presidential watch and a 5.73 carat diamond ring. He leased a 2019 Rolls Royce Wraith and paid 40 grand in back child support. Oh boy. What is wrong with y'all, man? Seriously, bro. You just get the money. You like you, like they not going to pay attention to that right now. What you doing? Even if you got money from the SBA, they'll pay attention to that. So you take money from the government and then they're not going to watch you. And yes, there was a story last week. They arrested. I think this uh, other white guy for getting half a million dollars and spending on stuff he wasn't supposed to do it. So they coming after anybody with that crap from what I've seen. So they said when he met with investigators, he denied spending a loan on anything besides payroll and business expenses. But on Monday, federal agents searched Fain's home and seized the jury and around 80 grand in cash, including 9,400 Fain had in his pockets. They say his attorney, Tanya Miller said there was considerable confusion about paycheck protection guidelines and overwhelmed owners could pay themselves a salary when asked about the charge. Hold on, hold on. See that right there. See, I read about paycheck protection program. I looked at all the guidelines myself. Okay. I even got the application somewhere in here. It says that paycheck protection program is meant for to pay your employees or any contractors that work for you to pay them so you can not lay them off and keep their jobs afloat while they still work for you. You can pay your utilities like your lights, your internet. If it's a cell phone that you use for the business, you can pay um, your mortgage or your rent on your building or your office. You can do that with paycheck protection program funds, right? Anything related to the business, you're not going by a Rolls Royce for no trucking company. Uh, that's, that, come on. And they didn't say pay yourself a salary with this money. They said to pay your employees and pay everything you have to pay. Basically keep the business running. Okay. Not pay you like that. You don't need to be paid. If your, your employees are working and they're making money for the company, that's how you get your money. You don't take the money the government gave you and go out here and go buy a jewelry and go buy this and that and talk about a salary. Really? <laughs> They, well, I tell you, man, it, 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 like that people like this are silly. They are silly, very silly. So his attorney says that, you know, she hopes that these issues will be better explained in the near future. It is explained. All right. So I pulled it. I got it right here in my hand. It is explained. Stop lying to the people. This, 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 this the paperwork right here. I'm about to read you the part that this fool had to check before he signed this. Okay. 
It clearly says right here, the funds will be used to retain workers and maintain payroll or make mortgage interest payments, lease payments, and utility payments as specified under the Paycheck Protection Program rule. I understand if the funds are normally used for unauthorized purposes, the federal government may hold me legally liable, such as charges of fraud. It's, it's simple. Don't, don't play dumb counselor. Like, see, I wouldn't hire you for crap when it's clearly saying that you shouldn't even put that statement out to the media like that. That fool checked that. So they didn't say nothing about no, um, Rolls Royce payments. They didn't say nothing about no child support. It was clear as day. So I don't feel bad for him whatsoever. He should have worked hard, got his money up and, and, and paid his child support and did it on his own dime and trucking, believe it or not, that's some good money in trucking. They need all kinds of truckers right now to go do all these deliveries at the grocery stores. I mean, they really need that right now. Big time. Truckers are making a killing. So all he had to do was to, uh, invest more into the business, do, do the things that he needed to do with the business. And he would have made the money, but no, he wanted that quick money. He want to steal from the government and he get what he gets. So I don't feel bad for dude at all. This is such a dummy. But leave your comment, guys. Let me know what you think about the situation with this dude, um, the straight <laughs> being a dummy guy. How do you think the government going to give you $2 million and you go out and get a Rolls Royce and they not going to know what you're doing, man? God, I mean, some people are just so stupid. <laughs>